The International Space Station is the destination for STS-118, the first flight for Space Shuttle Endeavour in more than four years. Endeavour's mission for its seven-member crew includes construction, new supplies, and a former teacher who plans to educate from the ultimate classroom. Live from Kennedy Space Center in Florida, this is the STS-118 webcast. Welcome, I'm your host, Cheryl Hurst, Deputy Director of Public Affairs at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Thanks for joining us for this pre-launch webcast to explore this exciting mission. We are about to take a closer look at STS-118, the space had payload, Orbiter Endeavour, and its crew, which includes teacher turned astronaut Barbara Morgan. We'll also get an up-close look at experiments underway on Earth to grow plants better in space. We have a lot to get to, and to help us, NASA astronaut Joan Higginbotham is here to help explain life aboard the space station. Welcome, Joan. Thanks for having me, Cheryl. Joan, the last mission you flew was STS-116, your first. I suspect you know how some of the first-time crew members are feeling about now. I do. I imagine that they're just ready to get strapped in and go. But I know they're probably using this last 24 hours to put the finishing touches on their crew notebooks, probably do a little bit of last-minute studying, and just prepare themselves mentally for launch. You'll talk with us more and answer some viewer questions a little later. But first, the crew of STS-118 is a dream crew indeed, but for a few of our astronauts, it's a dream come true. Let's get to know them a little better and get a closer look at what they'll be doing during the mission. Mark Kelly is commanding his first space shuttle mission for STS-118, and he leads a crew including accomplished veterans Charles Hobaugh, Dave Williams, and Rick Mestracchio. Tracy Caldwell, Alvin Drew, and teacher-turned-astronaut Barbara Morgan will be making their first flights on STS-118. It is a dream realized for each of the crew members, including Morgan, who first trained as the backup for Chris